Small town living is the best. If you need something in the middle of the night from your pharmacist, he'll come deliver it to your house. Now try getting that in a big city. I love the fact that everybody is a phone call away. In Walker County, you can pick up the phone and you can call anybody and they will be willing to lend a hand to help you achieve whatever it is you're trying to work toward. I see a willingness to work together in the community. It's a family. I've not only been embraced here personally, but professionally. There's tons of opportunity, tons of potential here. I drive over an hour to get here, but it is worth the drive. As a painter, you could really live anywhere, but for me to uh, produce work that I'm happy with, it's important for me to have a very low anxiety level. So living here at, at home is, is perfect for me. Our business started in Walker County in 1946 and have been fortunate enough to grow into other regions of our state. The people of Walker County have been the root of our success. When I moved back to Jasper, I was looking for an opportunity to get involved in the community. I began asking various people, where can you make the biggest impact? And consistently, the answer was Walker Area Community Foundation. It's, it's the heart of the community. It's an army of people working to bring this place better than it was before. The Walker Area Community Foundation, first, is a collection of people. It is the accumulated contributions of citizens of Walker County, of people that love Walker County over years that has been wisely invested and the proceeds from those investments are being reinvested in our community and those things that are needed today and those things that are hopeful for tomorrow. I have two sons. I want them to go off, see the world, but I also long for them to come back here to live. And in order for this to be an attractive place for them to live, there have to be good jobs, good economies, and a high quality of life. And I think that's one of the reasons why we made those initial investments in programs like Main Street, as we're trying to bring that vibrancy back. Jasper Main Street is a program for downtown revitalization. The Walker Area Community Foundation gave the lead gift to fund Jasper Main Street. When we were founded on June 1st, 2015, they stepped up and said, we want to be a part of this. We want downtown Jasper back. And so after they gave the lead gift, many, many people followed after that because they are the leaders in this community. All of downtown has just grown a lot over the last several years, several new businesses. My brother-in-law, I had talked about starting a brewery at some point. We watched the Main Street program kind of blossom in downtown Jasper for probably about a year and a half. And I said, if there was ever a time and a place, I think we found it. It's right here in our backyard. So we were able to kind of thrive off of the movement that's happening in downtown Jasper. You see new businesses. You see economic vitality. You see life. And that's the most important thing, is that you see life in downtown Jasper. Another way to determine growth in a downtown area is through the arts. And the Arts Alliance here in Walker County has sponsored the Mule Project. But in addition, they have collaborated with Jasper Main Street on several murals downtown. Art brings life, life brings people, people bring commerce. And that's what a downtown area should be. I'm lucky enough to have a, a piece involved in the mural wall that's downtown. I've painted two of the mules. To be able to feel like you're uh, contributing to the community and the community giving you that appreciation back, it's, it's a great feeling. The Walker County Health Action Partnership is a coalition of anchor organizations providing opportunities for recreational access and opportunities to help increase health outcomes in the community. One of the initiatives is uh, Walker County Lake. And Walker County Lake has loads of recreational opportunities for families, for fishermen. We have a walking trail. We will soon have a biking trail. There's kayaking and just an opportunity to be outside. Bevel State has always been a forerunner in workforce development. One of the companies we serve uh, is Alabama Power Company. 
they approached us because they too believe that the people in Walker County have a tremendous work ethic. And I saw great value creating a true pipeline for students to be employed with the power company. When we have community workforce endeavors within the Walker County area, the Community Foundation is always a part of those and always wanting to lend a hand, wanting to lend an ear to hear what the needs are and always willing to support those needs uh, through the grant making process. My first interaction with the foundation would really have to do with when I took office in Cordova. We had just been hit by the tornadoes in 2011. The foundation was one of the quickest to react and I think the most beneficial to react. The city of Cordova was able to get all of the money that they could get from the federal sources, all the insurance money, and they still didn't have enough to rebuild their municipal infrastructure. But because those funds were there, the foundation was there, we were able to provide the cash match required for those federal and state grants to actually build a grocery store, to actually replace the city hall, not just replace it, but replace what they had as a city hall with something that is really modern, efficient, effective, and aesthetically far better than it was before. They've been an integral part of literally everything we've accomplished post tornadoes. I learned about the Community Foundation in November of 2002. My parents' home was destroyed in the tornadoes that hit our county that year. And we, uh, we needed help. We had an organization in Curry where my parents lived that helped the families there. There was an organization in Carbon Hill that helped the families there. Money was pouring into the community and the Community Foundation happened to be the basis of getting that money out there. And we were able to rebuild our house. We didn't have the Community Foundation here in this county. There would be a lot of people go without things that they need. The Homeless Coalition receives funding from different grant funding organizations. The Walker Area Community Foundation has been super instrumental, super helpful. That collaboration that we do has been just as priceless as the funding that we've received. Without the Walker Area Community Foundation, we would not have lasted as long as we have. One of the grants that I saw that was most impactful was with Hope House Church here in town, their soup kitchen. I don't think I understood the impact or the need that even existed until I reviewed that grant. We have a just amazing heart for the elderly people of our community who maybe are wrestling with, do I buy my prescription drugs or do I, do I pay my rent or what am I gonna do? We purchased a food truck just about a year into our existence of the church and we put that baby out on the road and, and we began to just feed meals. We were a church of maybe 100 people, and, and listen, as, as people ask me all the time, well, Pastor, how do you do what you're doing? Well, I can tell you, I don't have any fat cats, if you will, in my congregation. It's just sort of funding everything we want to do. No, it's just a bunch of people who are giving the small amount that they have, but simply it's not enough to meet all the needs. So we begin to partner with, with the Community Foundation. Their funding for us has allowed us to feed more people to make a bigger impact. 2017, we fed over 12,000 meals in Walker County through the help of the foundation. And that's an amazing impact. And I believe that in 2018, we'll be able to feed over 25,000 meals. I'm really believing that we'll begin to see an incremental change in hunger in our region. The beauty of the foundation is they really vet people to see, hey, these people just have a great idea. Are they really putting the great idea that they have to work? There is a very rigorous process that we go through to make sure that we are funding the greatest need for the greatest number of people.
Every time a dollar goes out from the foundation, we're trying our best to interpret what would our donors want us to do with it. They are not giving us money, they are investing money through us. So the question is why would you give through community foundation and not just do it directly? Part of it is we already have the long-standing relationship with the nonprofit organizations. We know about their efficiencies, their effectiveness. Um, you can give anywhere you want, but do you really know where it's always going? Not, not that well. We dig very deeply into it, not just in the grant review process, but by maintaining a relationship with those organizations year in, year out. It puts local people boots on the ground to go into these organizations to see the true need, to interview the people that lead these organizations, and for the money is the most impactful given to the people that most need it. When you do site visits, when you talk to people, you realize just what greater good you are doing, which is difficult to do that if you're just simply sitting in an office writing checks to an organization, which you feel good about, but you don't begin to understand the benefits that really accrue from that work and it's contagious. It expands itself exponentially. Obviously the need is great in Walker County and so many of us don't understand what that need is, but getting to be a part of this grant review committee, not only am I getting to see the need, but I'm getting to see the needs met of the county, which is just unreal experience for me. I've been involved with the Community Foundation since its inception, and I think it's been successful because of the generosity of the people of Walker County and the people from Walker County. I made a decision to make the Community Foundation a beneficiary in my life insurance policy. So y'all are part of my family, <laughs> have been for a long time and will be for a long time to come. I give to the Community Foundation because I've seen the money at work. And I would like to invite everyone to join with me in making the Walker Area Community Foundation a part of their annual giving. There's people in Walker County that need help, they need love, and they need support, and you can be the one that can do that for them. We are so blessed to have so many things in our community. We are poised for greatness.